Gentlemen, you were given the guidelines in the dressing room. This is an exhibition fight, a five, two minute round. Good luck to both of you. Catch them up. All right, so it is Le'Veon Bell, Adrian Peterson matching up. Please tell me a Le'Veon. Mouthpiece well, is in. Mouthpiece, please. Mouthpiece <laughs> in. There is Adrian Peterson, former member of the Minnesota Vikings. Ready? Ready? Clean, gentlemen. And clean. we are underway. The mouthpiece in. Here we go. They didn't fit the mouthpiece. The brand new mouthpiece. Le'Veon Bell, Adrian Peterson matching up. This one in the heavyweight division exhibition rules. Le'Veon, bite on that mouthpiece. We'll see if Le'Veon Bell. Here's the thing, man. If you don't know to bite on the mouthpiece or to keep it in your mouth, you could, there's no possible way you did a lot of sparring. It's just, it's like, it's, it's, those, those are things you learn even, even in one or two sparring sessions. There's a right hand by Le'Veon Bell early. So this is something that with the first NFL Sunday tomorrow, my goodness, you see that Le'Veon Bell, Adrian Peterson, two former elite NFL running backs colliding. The one thing, Adrian Peterson, he did say that he still wants to play in the NFL. He mentioned that he wants to play for either the Bills, the Rams, or the 49ers once he's done with this exhibition matchup. You can see they come from an athletic background. They don't have a lot of boxing experience, and it's coming out. But nonetheless, the way they, they move they around. Stand, you the can, way they're standing, the way they're walking yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you can tell it's too athletic. athletic. Yeah, they're athletic. And they definitely do have that, that the pedigree, the pedigree to, to actually learn and, and, and maybe improve and, and polish a little bit more of their fight. There's a right hand there by Adrian Peterson. Good right hand by Le'Veon Bell. By the moments of the first. Ten seconds, Stop at the bell. Ten seconds. We're on our way to the second. So far, what you guys think? Nothing. Um, it was kind of like so there's not even yeah. something F filling out around maybe around. Let, yeah. let, let, let's see if things improve but see if they're softening each they other show up. a lot of respect for one another yeah. they barely threw yeah. a punch in there yeah. but and, not. When, and if anything did land didn't even move the guy's head so there was no weight on it it was it, it, it didn't even get a snap back of anything but you know i think you could tell the way they were flowing around the ring that they're two athletes now they just have to Figure out how to translate it to, to get into the, 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 the proper distance. Let's start shooting at his to, shoulder. To shoot those All shots right. the way they want. Shoot to. him high in the ribs. Shoot him high in the shoulder. Okay. Don't hold it out there too long. Okay. Got it. Simple. Keep using your hands. Keep everything good. Simple, good instructions that's in the corner of Peterson. You know, because that's one thing a lot of beginners do that they hold it out there too long. That's a, that's a good observation by the trainer uh, of, of, of Peterson when he gave him those instructions. That's one of the key rookie mistakes a lot of people make when they throw a shot. They're almost like trying to aim it, yeah. trying to throw it the correct way because they don't. They're not quite sure if they're doing it right, and they in, in trying to aim it, you end up keeping it out there too long. So, solid instruction there. Round number two, this one's scheduled for five. And it's something even people at home can, can you know, take as a lesson because th these are instructions you won't, you won't get in a, in a professional boxing match because a professional fighter, that's not a mistake he's going to make. But, oh, oh, oh yeah. down goes Jeff to the chest. Le'Veon Bell. Huh? Yeah, okay, go. to the chest. I might, he might have stepped, he stepped on his foot as he jabbed him. Also still to come, we got Swaggy P and Minicon on the way, guys. Good jab there to the abdomen by Le'Veon Bell to Adrian Peterson. Le'Veon Bell sneaky, isn't he? Like he uh, used to attack the hole back in the day. There's a right hand. Neither man has really landed anything significant. No, no, that's the thing. You, you, the, getting into range and having the confidence to shoot is, is the most difficult part, you know, because you got, there's so many variables that come into play once you start doing that. But, you know, the other, the other, now Peterson turns southpaw, the, the rest of it, you know, these guys kind of have a, a 
a solid understanding of how to move around the ring. It's not like that other fight before. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no doubt about it, guys. Look at Le'Veon Bell. He's like looking for his opening. Oh my goodness. Good stiff jab by Adrian Peterson to Le'Veon Bell. We're on our way to round number three. And that'll end the second. Bell getting a little bit more busy with the jab. Taking a look at the knockdown in the fight. Well, wasn't called a knockdown, but let's see the feet. I want to see let's what, see what, what happened this here. Nah, it, was, it was a jab. Yeah, to the chest. I mean, that could have been called a knockdown. Bad footing on his part, but he, the punch was landed, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's... Could have been called a knockdown. Yeah, for sure. There was a punch, he, and, and, and there was no... No, no, no tripping or nothing like that. I, I, I was thinking maybe the, the front foot Swaggy of Swaggy P and Minicon. Sorry to cut you off, Paulie. It is Swaggy P, former member of the Los Angeles Lakers. He gets set to take on Minicon. Round three. Round, Round three. number three. Not this pizza. one is scheduled for five between Adrian Peterson and Le'Veon Bell. A matchup between two NFL running backs that obviously played at such a high level. Bell with the. Pittsburgh Steelers, Adrian Peterson with the Minnesota Vikings. We'll see if either man can land anything significant here. There's a right hand that misses over the top. There's a, there's a viral video of Peterson getting a knockdown in the gym. Um, that he knocked down somebody, right? Yeah, scoring a knockdown in the gym. Some pain, um, but, oh, oh, a good step jab by Le'Veon Bell. I didn't see it. I didn't watch it, but... Oh, oh that was a good shot by Bell. That was right. a better, best shot of the fight. But I'm trying to figure out, watching now, <laughs> if it was actually staged. <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to figure out how he was scoring. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing anything, you know, behind those punches. I'm not seeing any real yeah. attention. Yeah, even when he's throwing a shot, it's not... Yeah. It's like he did not know how of the, how to put the weight on the they, shot. They, they definitely did train for the fight. They did practice some boxing because they do have yeah. something there. Yeah. There's a little bit of uh, the footwork, a little bit of jabs, just like that. Yeah, the footwork alone, they, they, they know how to box. They know how to box. Yeah, they, they, they can hold their own there. Le'Veon giving him a couple of extra wrinkles, though. Now he's starting to get more confident in, yeah. and, you know, bringing the fight to Peterson a little bit. Look at that. Le'Veon Bell lands a right hand there on the abdomen of Adrian Peterson. Peterson's starting to try to put some muscle on those jabs and walk into a counter. We're on our way to round number four. Le'Veon's been throwing those punches to the body. I would want like to see him throw it upstairs now. Yeah. Swing it over the top. And you know what? Catch him. When he has, he landed a couple of he shots to the head. You know, yeah. because it's, he surprised Peterson, too. Round number four on the way. Taking a look at some of the action, guys, from the third. Yeah, there's some of that action there. Le'Veon, for me, starting to separate himself a little bit more. Peterson, though, you know, throwing some heavy jabs here and there, but he's got to just, just got to be just a little bit more consistency. What are you guys seeing so far? I, I still don't think that either man, aside from the jab to the chest, has landed anything of validity. Is that fair to say? I mean, I, I think Bell landed a left on, on the last round, but. Not significant. Yeah, nothing where you can say ooh and ah, right? No, no, nothing like that. We will see what happens as we are into round number four, but... Seems like Bell's getting a little more comfortable, though. He's getting, he's walking closer. 
He's, he's closing the gap, letting his hands go just like he did there. Well, I just want to go ahead and say that I agree with my good friend the Schmo and that we need some finishes, guys. I mean, look, this is Social Gloves too. Trying to make a statement, you're in Los Angeles. I mean, who's going to make that statement? The thing people understand, most people don't know how to put the proper weight behind punches to get the finishes, you know? So, you know, while everybody wants to talk about knockdowns in the gyms and everything else, the, the, the reality is the average person doesn't know how to put enough weight on a punch to they score any knockdown. They can train, they can lift weights, they can be super strong, but it's not the same thing. Put that weight behind the punch. Yeah. You can see the way they're extending the punches is just yep. the arm itself, not, not there's no weight behind it. And then you are not doubting your strength. Get a like that. Yep. You're not gonna get any knockouts like that. That's not to take away from their, the strength they probably have, they just don't know how to make it translate to the punches. Yep. And that takes uh, some experience and that takes some know how. It yep. takes time to learn that. Undoubtedly. Sharp right hand there by the belt. That's starting to get closer and closer. I want to see if he can put some combinations That's together. Same. Body shot. Nice, nice shot, shot to the there. body by Le'Veon Bell. Good counter attempt by Peterson. Now that he's getting closer, he should let go of that yeah. overhand right. Now That's where he should. He's got to have the confidence to throw it. One more round remaining between Le'Veon Bell and Adrian Peterson, a matchup between the oh. NFL running backs. Overall, I think it's been a pretty even fight, even though there's not a whole lot of action, but they both had a few moments, a little yeah. burst, a couple of punches here and there. They're pretty, very evenly matched, in fact. Last round coming up between Le'Veon Bell and Adrian Peterson. Ray Flores, Mikey Garcia, Pauli Malinaji, the Schmo, Concrete, also Emily Austin, Denise Salcedo, Michelle Joy Belt. All privileged to be here for social gloves too. And then move and walk. Don't take a full lap. Doesn't matter if he cuts you off in Pauli. Okay. Fifth and final round on the way. Let's move last round, gentlemen. Last round. Last piece of that. Let's go. Move on. So we will see. And look, I still think, in my opinion, in the court of public opinion, for that matter, I think the fight still kind of hangs in the balance, yeah. even though we're really not judging this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was actually very evenly matched. And not only in its... Oh! 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 There goes Peterson! Right hand. And now, A big right hand from Le'Veon Bell! That overhand right, that was just asking. Look, and he's Oh, my God. Well, he's he's this one's over. That's it. And that's Le'Veon it. Bell he's has hurt. knocked out Adrian Peterson. Wow. Shot. Wow, that connected. And I tell you, I think I think Adrian also walked into it. I want to see again. I think Adrian was throwing something himself, so it makes it so you don't, even, you know, the shot you don't see hurts you more. But I, I'm very, very curious. You know, I, was just, I was just telling you, you know, he keeps throwing that right hand to the body. He needs to throw it yep. over the top. Yep. And then he, he just did it, right? And that yeah. shocked Adrian. And because that, that but I, I'm thinking, I want to, I want to see this replay now. I'm, I'm thinking Adrian was probably in the process of throwing himself, so it was a double impact where he, he kind of might have ran into it himself. I'm curious to see if that was it. I thought that's what I saw, but in slow down speed, it might get a better look. As you take a look at Le'Veon Bell, just put away Adrian Peterson. Look at this heavy right hand. Bang! Yeah, yeah. Oh see, my goodness! Yeah, you see his eyes rolling up too. You see, and Rick Peterson was about to throw his own right hand, and that's the thing. Yep. I don't know who hit Adrian Peterson harder, Brian Urlacher or Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> but you see it again. Look, Adrian's about to come with his own right hand, and that's the thing. And again, you got to have the left hand up if you're going to do that, or you got to throw it from a little bit of a lower position. You can't throw it straight up like that. But that's also why Adrian was getting no power on his shots, too. He's too straight up. So that was yeah. a double whammy there. He's too straight up trying to throw the right hand, and now he put himself in position to get hit with Le'Veon's right, right hand. Look, he comes up as he's throwing. See, he was low, and he's coming up as he's throwing. A big shot, and you can tell the effect it had because of the way he went down, went down right on his knee like that, and also his eyes. Watch, watch Adrian Peterson's eyes when he takes his right hand. 
And they're going to go look up. Oh. Watch. You see where they're looking up? That's when you know you're going to look back. Yep. That's when you know you're Props to him for getting up and actually uh, yeah. attempting to and he, continue. He was mad they stopped he, he, he it. Yeah. Wanted to continue. But I mean, that's, that's an athlete's that's, art. That's man. the heart. That's a competitor in yeah. him. But Pittsburgh obviously very happy with what they saw the former Steeler. To make it all official, we send it up to ring announcer. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, as an exhibition bout, our referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, stops the contest. He is here to ensure the safety of our athletes. Once again, this bout has not been scored, but they certainly both deserve a round of applause. How about a hand for fantastic athletes, the Juice, Le'Veon Bell and Adrian Peterson. I believe trying to effort Le'Veon Bell is Michelle Phelps as she's standing by with the victorious, the knockout artiste. Le'Veon Bell, Michelle, it's all you. Le'Veon, we know that this is technically an exhibition fight, so I can't congratulate you on a win, but I can congratulate you on a good performance tonight. How are you feeling? That's all I need to hear. I had a great performance, you know. I put a lot of hard work. First of all, I want to thank God. Without him, you know, none of this would be possible. My family for supporting me, um, all my close friends and my loved ones, um, all showing me love and being in my corner, you know. So I appreciate everybody's love and support for real. That's really what kept me going. And obviously, all the hate, that just motivates me. I just wear it on as a badge of honor, I put it on the tip of my shoulder. I use it for motivation so I can be the best I can be. You've had a very successful NFL career. Um, let's see, so this is nothing new to you in terms of an event. But how, how does it feel? How is it different for you? Because obviously it's it's a boxing ring this time around. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's a lot different just because it's more, it, I guess, in football is more team-oriented, team you know. Don't get me wrong, boxing, I still got my team in my corner. But once I'm actually on, in the ring, it's just me versus my opponent. Versus in football, I got 10 other guys helping me. Um, you know, so I, I'm so proud of myself just because I came so hard, I worked so hard, I came so far to get to this point, you know, and our vision is happening. And for it to come true, you know, it ain't like I'm saying surprise. I'm surprised that it happened, but it's just more so like, damn, I'm just actually happy that it actually happened. You know what I'm saying? I finally got to this point. But I've been saying it was going to happen because I knew it was going to happen. You don't play boxing, as they say. How would you rate this as, you know, was it harder than, than training for the NFL? Yeah, boxing is definitely the, one of the biggest challenges I ever had to pick up because it's, it's really about how far you want to go. You know, nobody really, you know, you got like something that's inside of you where you feel like you can stop or you feel like you got to stop, but it's always something else that can tell you that you can keep going, keep going, keep going further and keep pushing. And that's what boxing brings out of you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like for myself, this is the perfect sport because I, I just want to see how far I can go. I want to test my limits. Okay, okay, well, let's talk about that because I know that previous to this, obviously on the night, was that you weren't quite sure what you wanted to do beyond this. You wanted to sort of see how the fight went. Where do you want to take the No, you're shaking your head, no. No, I, I never said I wasn't sure. I never said I wasn't sure. I always told people this is what I was going to do. Once, once I hung up the cleats and I told people this is what I want to take serious, this is what I'm doing because I got to put my hard work and, and passion into this and I've been working hard to do this, you know what I'm saying? So I know if I put my mind to it, I can be the best at this and that's what I'm going to do. Pro? or continue with the celebrity fight? Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm continue going, see what happens after this. After this, uh, after the night, I'm gonna enjoy the night, don't get me wrong. I done worked so hard for so long. I'm gonna enjoy the night, you know what I'm saying? Then worry about everything else later. Le'Veon, congratulations. Thank you, Back to you guys. Thank you very much.